Question 43. Which of the following properties must be true of a minimum spanning tree, MST, of a connected graph with at least three edges? One, it must contain the shortest edge. Two, it must contain the second shortest edge. And three, it can never contain the longest edge. Well, let's, let's consider a minimum spanning tree. If we have, let's, let's say it's a, a, B, C, D. Okay, this is our graph, and we want the minimum spanning tree. We can kind of see that in order to span, a spanning tree is uh, a uh, set of vertices where every single node is covered, uh, is, is connected. So the minimum spanning tree is the one where it's connected with the least length. So, for example, one example of a minimum spanning tree might be C and C and A are connected, A and D are connected, D and B and connect are connected, and we get rid of this other link. So that's a minimum spanning tree. It's basically the the uh, the graph with the least number of edges um, that still connects all the nodes, all the vertices. So now we can see here that even though this one may well be the longest, there's no other connections to this, this point E out here. So we know for sure three can't be true. It may, the, the minimum spanning tree may very well contain the longest link of the, of the graph. But what about one and two? One of them is that the, the spanning tree has to contain the shortest edge of the graph. Well, if we have, if we have a three, uh, it says here you've got to have a minimum of at least three edges. So there's our three edges. If this is one and this is two and this is three, there's no way that we can get a minimum spanning tree without keeping edge number one, right? We've got to have the, the cheapest edge. If we add another node, Let's say this one is, uh, I don't know what, four or five. No matter what we add, we're going to have to keep the minimum length edge. So the, the, uh, the, there's no question about that. Now the second, the second shortest edge, it doesn't say this in the question. It says a, con a connected graph with three edges. It doesn't say if it's directed, undirected, or whatever. But you can sometimes have two, two edges that are the same, going from one to the other, and so you might argue that one of these is the second choice. But we're gonna we're gonna forget that that possibility. Let's just ask ourselves: Can we create a minimum spanning tree where we don't have both the smallest edge and the the, the second smallest edge? And I think you'll find that if you have this tree here, you're gonna have to have the first smallest edge and the second smallest edge, and if you keep adding these um, these nodes, you can prove actually that you that you have to have the second smallest edge also. So you might not have the third smallest edge, but you you must have the first smallest edge and the second smallest edge in order to make the minimum spanning tree the least distance edges covering all the graph. So the answer to 43 is C, 1 and 2. Sorry, I'm not going to do the proof for you on that one. I have to look that one up.